are back and honestly it's even better because we're going to Disneyland today. It's watch the fireworks, try a bunch of yummy food, and of course ride all the rides and see the beautiful Sleeping Beauty Castle. The last time we were here we were not able to spend the entire day here so hopefully we're gonna be able to do way more than we were the first time and we're gonna have so much fun so let's go inside of Disneyland. So we officially made it inside of Disneyland. I put my jacket on, but let me give you a little bit of a recap. When we walked in, I did a meet and greet with both Pluto and Chip and Dale, and it was the cutest experience. I am going to insert a clip because I just, oh my gosh, it was so cute. I never really do character meet and greets, but my parents were like, why don't you do it? You're here in Disneyland, might as well. So I did and it was such a cute and fun experience and then after that we got our Starbucks which is very important, my coffee and now we got our Disney Genie Plus and the first ride that we will be doing today is the Haunted Mansion so let's go! on the Haunted Mansion and we did of course see the hat box ghost. I wasn't expecting it to be there so I got like kind of a not so great clip but I did see him. And now I did get our next class pass to for Thunder Mountain but in the meantime, what better way to be in Disneyland, California than to have Mickey beignets in New Orleans Square. So we're gonna have some beignets and then go over to Thunder Mountain. So let's eat. there was one thing that I really wanted to do when I came here and it was to buy a pair of ears. It's actually one thing that I have yet to do on my college program and I thought what better thing to get here than the classic mini ears that I don't have. 
than at the classic Disney World. So here I am with my classic mini ears and then now we're gonna get our beignets and go to Pirates of the Caribbean. just finished riding Pirates of the Caribbean, which I personally think is way better here than in Orlando. And now we're gonna do Big Thunder Mountain. We never got to do because the last time we were here it was closed and the last time we came it was also closed in Magic Kingdom. So this will be really fun because it's going to take us kind of like on a little tour of all of Disneyland and we get to walk around and our stop is going to be at Tomorrowland so we can go ride Buzz Lightyear. Tomorrowland and we just took the railway over to Tomorrowland which was a really fun trip because we got to see all of the lands before getting here. Now we're gonna go to Toy Story Blasting Ride so let's see if I can beat these two. I think I'll beat them. We'll beat them. I won! I won! <laughs> we just finished the Buzz Lightyear like basically the ranger spin that they have over in Tomorrowland in Disney World, but it's over in the Tomorrowland in Disneyland, California. And the guns actually come off of the ride and it's a lot easier to like aim and shoot. And of course I won. So now we're gonna keep walking around Tomorrowland. We're probably gonna do the Finding Nemo ride next. And then the next fast pass that we got is for Autopia, which is the original Cars ride. So let's go. We are now going to ride for the very, very first time the Finding Nemo Undersea Submarine Voyage, which we don't have, and the only Nemo ride that we have is a shell ride. So I'm not sure what to expect, but I'm guessing it's going to be something with a submarine, which is going to be really, really cool, because it'll kind of be like the 1,000 Leagues Under the Sea. 1,000 Leagues? Yeah, 1,000 Leagues Under the Sea. I'm assuming that's what this ride will be like, so I'm excited. That's going to be the first time we do that and then we're going to do Autopia for the first time too. We just finished riding the Finding Nemo Underwater Sea Submarine Voyage and it was pretty cute. Hold on, monorail shot. Now we're gonna go do Autopia, which is the original Cars ride here in Disneyland. So we are currently on Autopia doing the race cars, and we've never done this before, and it's so fun, and we're driving and recording, which is definitely illegal in real life, but here,
just finished the Autopia ride and now we're standing in front of Matterhorn Bob Sets. It is currently the only ride that is down in both parks for refurbishment and they do have these like interesting posters that talk about the history of the Matterhorn Bob Sled and right here you can actually see an original picture of Walt Disney riding it and that's super cool. So now we're walking into Fantasyland and we're gonna go do It's a Small World. are going to ride It's a Small Road now and it is so pretty outside so I'm hoping that it's going to be even prettier inside. It's a small world all the time. It's a small world all the time. Just finished riding It's a Small World and of course we had to stop for some snacks so we got some popcorn and a fresh Mickey pretzel which I'm so excited to eat here in Disneyland. So let's have our snacks and then we're gonna go head to Toontown. <laughs> going inside of Minnie Mouse's house in Toontown Land, which is so cute and exciting because we used to have this back in Disney World and I used to go all the time when I was little, so it's very nostalgic. <laughs> California. I know that this ride hasn't even been open for two months. Like it just opened here in Toontown and I'm so excited to be able to do it here. I know that the only things that should be different are the queue and an ending scene than from the one back in Hollywood Studios. So I'm really excited to ride it here. The wait just got down to 40 minutes. I'm hoping it won't be 40 minutes but I'm very excited to ride. doing Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway and there are actually a lot more differences than I thought there were gonna be or what the rumor has it so that was really fun and 
I did get a lot of content, especially things that I thought were different. The queue was definitely very different, but they also were able to build the queue around the ride and around Toontown. Whereas like back home, they had to build it around the Chinese theater. So I do think that they did a way better job here than they did back at home. I also am a great movie ride stan. So that's that. But now we're gonna head over to Indiana Jones Stunt Spectacular. We were able to do it last time. I'm very, very excited because the last time we came, it was actually shut down. So hopefully we'll be able to do it today and have a great time. So let's go. It used to exist in Disney World, but it hasn't existed for like 25 years now. So now we're just going to keep walking around through Fantasyland and end up at Indiana Jones. Fun. We did get a little nervous because we actually ended up getting stuck in the queue at the same point that we got stuck in last time. So good thing that we did it. We ended up riding and we had a great time. It's like dinosaur back in Animal Kingdom but Indiana Jones themed and honestly way better and more comfortable. And now we are eating at Bengal Barbecue. We're waiting for our food to come out. We got some chicken and steak skewers with rice. And then after that, we're just going to do some of our last rides for the night. And it doesn't look like we're going to be doing the fireworks but that's okay. We are going to be able to ride and walk around the park and have a great night. We just finished eating our dinner, which was probably the best Disney meal that we've ever had. It was so, so yummy. And now we are doing one of our last rides of the night, which is Jungle Cruise. I'm so excited. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and we are now going to ride Smuggler's Run. 
So Star Wars Land pretty much looks the same as it does in Hollywood Studios. And there are actually some areas that are bigger, which is very surprising. But a lot of it looks very similar and the same. And we got our little, you know, Dasani Star Wars water. So we are all set to be here in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. the Millennium Falcon and our score was actually pretty good and the best part is that Star Wars Galaxy's Edge right now is actually the emptiest land that we have been in all day it's so nice like as you can see there's literally no one around us which is great the park does close in about 45 minutes and the last ride that we have to do today is Space Mountain so we're making our way back over to Tomorrowland and hopefully we will be able to ride Space Mountain we are officially walking into our last ride of the night, which is going to be Hyperspace Mountain. So I'm so excited because this is one of my favorite roller coasters back at home. And I always do it with Poppy. So hopefully it's going to be super fun. Hyperspace Mountain, which actually had a Star Wars themed overlay on it, which was really cool to see. It was very fun and interactive, and it felt faster than our Space Mountain back at home. It also felt like it went a lot more in like circles. So now the park is officially closed, and we're going to be heading out the park. So let's go head out the park. <laughs> And just like that, I am standing on Main Street, USA, and I am saying goodbye to Disneyland. I have stood in front of the castle, the little baby castle. It is so cute, and we have had such a great trip. The last time we came to Disneyland, we did not experience Disneyland the way that we did this time. I could not be any more grateful for the opportunity to come all the way across the country, coast to coast, to come all the way to Disneyland, California. We had such a great and fun time and I'm so happy that I was able to share it with you all. Thank you guys all so much for watching and until the next time, see you in Orlando. Bye!